Hey everybody, I just wanted to start with the video going over the website and discussing preparing your thrifty elevator purchase. So on the thriftybot.com front page, if you go to the thrifty elevator kits, it will take you to a page that not only shows the thrifty elevator uh, stage kit as a whole, but it also has each individual kit that you can purchase here. Maybe your team just wants the bearing block kit or the Dyneema pulley kit or some of these other ones. Um, we're trying to give flexibility so that you can buy what your team wants. Uh, but for the, the elevator kit itself, when you go on that page, um, we also wanted to provide an option for teams that just wanted to purchase uh, a single stage or a two stage plus carriage kit and kind of say, give me everything I need. I just want to buy that so that uh, kit by itself. So that's what you can do on here. Uh, if you just want the single stage, which will just slide one stage up and down, um, that's on here. And then the two stage plus the carriage is here as well. We also have some links here to the assembly guide and the step CAD files, they're available. So you can import those files into your CAD application. We have both the um, single stage and two stage options here. And there's a PDF uh, assembly guide. And we will keep updating this through this link. Uh, if there are changes to be made or updates, we'll keep uh, updating this document and put a uh, update the last updated date on it so you know which version you're working to. There's also an Onshape CAD link. And if you go to the Onshape model, uh, there is a, configured, a, a configuration option here in the Variable Studio. When you use the Variable Studio, there are four values in here that you can adjust that will automatically scale the Thrifty Elevator. The first value here is the distance between the outside rails. So that was set at 16 inches. And if you measure from here to here, you'll see that 16 inches. The second value is the first stage height. Right now I have it set to 48 inches. It's actually going to be the distance from the bottom of the rail here. To the top of the tube on the outside, 48 inches. And that's really, if you're using the max tube, that's you know the maximum distance it can be because it comes in a 47 inch long piece. If you're using something other than that, just regular two by one uh, or the Vex Versa tube, it could be longer. The next value, the inner stage height, we have it set at six inches. That is actually the height uh, from top to bottom of the carriage here. So if we measure from that face to the bottom, that's at six inches. So you can adjust that if you need to make it uh, smaller or taller to fit whatever's gonna go inside of it. And the last value here is the extension sides. Right now it's set to two and a half inches. Uh, that is going to scale this bottom rail. It tells you how far uh, from you it And you'll want to also account for the gearboxes and their location, especially the motors within the frame perimeter. All of this has to be within your frame perimeter. You may want to look at some of the new options from Rev Robotics that have the 90 degree max planetary gearbox that can allow you to turn this uh, 90 degree vertical or, or horizontal here. Um, those are really cool new, brand new options that have just come out. So definitely take a look at those help the packaging solution be a little bit easier. And yeah, we just wanted to try to provide a, a model that you could come in and import into your design uh, with some flexibility here. Just because we're, we chose things at a certain length or a certain width, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do that. Um, definitely scale and adjust this elevator as needed to fit your robot's design and do that preferably before cutting any metal in your shop. 
So definitely come into Onshape and use this resource, use the Variable Studio and scale your elevator so that it fits your robot design. And then you can import this into your Onshape model, or you could always come in and export out a copy of this, uh, maybe a step file, uh, if you need to import it into a different CAD application. So hopefully that's helpful, and just let us know if you have any questions or need any additional help.